Thank you guys for having me on. Mike is one of the. Do I feel so aggressive? I, he's, you know. I don't know. I got to get my energy. I call him. I call Jeez, him second gear Mike. He likes to jump right into second gear. <laughs> he jumps right into it. Uh, Chris Cornell, were you a fan, Mikey? I love him. I love yeah. Soundgarden. Big Soundgarden yeah. fan. How do you feel that your hero has fallen? By, of course, hanging himself while jerking off. And you're Yet sh- again, another celebrity dies. Was that the thing, really? They say it's suicide. Jay saying it's it's autoerotic. It's, it's hanging. Situation. It's hanging. He hung himself. They said they, right. found, they found him in the bathroom with a strap around his neck. <laughs> and every time they say someone dies from hanging himself, it's always because they were... De- no one hangs himself. So you think Robin Williams is jerking off? You could jump a building. Off. You could jump off. I'm telling Jay, you... Jay, is that a fact? Are you adding your own tag? Is that a J twist? Your own... <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, M. Night Okerson. Yeah, you go. <laughs> and the twist is, he was jerking off the whole time. <laughs> there you go, Jay. There never yeah. was a dick. Yeah. The whole bunch it was. Yeah, so like Robin Williams. Yeah, jerking himself no, off. I don't think so. I think it was suicide. What are you talking about, yeah. dude? He just fucking uncorked that Parkinson's hand on he his would, peg he would, huh? while he was hanging from a fucking <laughs> Jack Adams tie. He would, huh? <laughs> How could I make this orgasm even better? Ho, oh, oh, ho, jerk off while I do it. Oh, 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 look at me. Oh, look at you getting all strangled up. Oh, fuck. If you ask me, Chris Cornell took the easy way out. Because yeah. I don't know if you know this, but this fucking robot car's outside. Yo, <laughs> it's easy to kill yourself. When you got a whole, we have a whole water fight against robot cars. What are you doing? Chris, we need your music to inspire us. Real nice, Chris. You check out the worst fucking time? Right before we have fucking robot cars outside? What are you doing? I don't think... It's saying everything I've read is saying suicide. Yeah! No, he's a, by jerking off! No! He was, a, he was a highly depressed guy, though. He, that, that music was like came from a very... Oh, you like, mean yes, with like, songs like Like Suicide and The Day I Tried to Live? And the way, yeah, why would a guy like that kill himself? He wasn't writing fucking hugs and kisses. Oh, and, you, know, you know what? We're inch, itching... Inching and inching closer to Eddie Vedder doing this. How do you feel about that, Lou? Don't say uh, it. Uh, Lou, that is a... Lou just reacted like you said that the, the devil was loose in the town. <gasps> How dare you? I'm not going to say anything. You know what? He goes, i got to think about and this. And I'm jerking what? while my neck's up in this belt under the bathroom door. <laughs> okay. Lou, do you love, do you love Pearl Jam? <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, Pearl Jam. It's wearing a Pearl Jam shirt. Jerking, tiring my neck, hanging from a ceiling fan. Oh. <laughs> and I'm spanking. I'm about to pass out, but I know the. Who the... <laughs> fucking supports that? <laughs> yeah. Nobody oh. beats gravity. Yeah, she yeah. goes, do it, baby. I got you. I got a spot for him. You just come and pass out, and then you're just sitting there hanging there. Like and, you wake up, yeah. and you wake up like this, all crusty belly going. <gasps> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know how Tom Cruise wakes up in the new Mummy trailer where he just wakes up in a body bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, nah! yeah. wow. nah! You got fucking, looks like you got fucking condensed milk all over your fucking <laughs> chest. Uh, how long have I been out? Long enough for that to crust up. Oh, no, I got, I got flaky tummy. Yeah, again. what's up, belly dandruff? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you wake up after every orgasm. <laughs> 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 oh, like someone that was drowning. Uh, uh, uh. Jerking, I can't come unless my throat is tied. Yeah. Okay, on. Um, uh. it has nothing to do with Eddie. I don't know how you dragged him into this. Because, cause, you know, the grunge. Yeah, grunge. That's the, word, the worst word ever yeah. created. Grunge is not a word. Whoa, all right. Sure it is. Genre of music. It's not. It's a fashion. Someone described me as grungy this weekend. Well, they were insulting. But then they said I was, in, no, then they said I was attractive. Well, Lu- is we just found out that's a, that's a trigger word for Lou. It was not. Oh, here's what that's happened. It's like saying you're a beautiful piece of garbage. <laughs> I, I got well. I call I called it a girl this uh, in the uh, by accident. Mm-hmm. I saw three dudes pretty clearly in the light. It's a dark club. Yeah. And then I just got the, the fourth person kind of trailed off. I saw short hair. That's what I can kind of make out. Uh, I said something about you four dudes just having a guys night out. And then I kind of moved on quick. And then they uh, they actually like uh, tweeted at me, and it was like. My uh, chick just wants you to know that she's a girl and actually a very pretty lady, which is a pretty funny way to put that. That's really funny. She's gorgeous, first yeah. of all. But then he said also that she said to stroke my ego, he said, I'm going to stroke your ego and let you know that she said, uh, he looked exactly and also nothing like I thought he would look about me. Okay. He said, uh, grungy but stylish and attractive. Oh. Mm. Well, we're finding out from Wikipedia that grunge, sometimes referred to as 
the Seattle sound is a subgenre oh, of alternative Lord. rock and a subculture that emerged during the mid 1980s <laughs> in the Pacific Northwest. Well, people that are in that community don't like the word. And grunge became yeah. commercially successful due to bands as Nirvana, Pearl Jam. All hated that word, never used yeah, it. Yeah, hipsters hate the word hipster. Yeah. They're still hipsters. You're a Pacific Northwest hipster, Lou. Yeah. Why don't you just grow a curly mustache, you queef? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, all right, fine. Why <laughs> We do it. <laughs> you guys go to Wikipedia. You know how depressed? You know how depressed? Do, right? That's because we're so informed. This is like bro. University of Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> this that's, is that's, like an online college. Do you know how depressed Eddie Vedder's going to be now that uh, Chris Cornell's gone? He's going to have to choke himself and jerk off. Uh, we saw Someone saw him the other day. He's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, <laughs> who saw him? You? You know, my people. People in my uh, for, well, chat room, he's gotta forum. Get it. Really? You know, that's the whole. You have ad- people following him? No. You have a network of people following a man? No, we we all talk. Oh, it sounds really queer. Yeah, yeah I Lou, know. You Lou, find a way out of Lou, if you're gonna if you're gonna stalk, can you at least make it a fucking chick? Why wouldn't he be okay? He's fine. He's probably super sad. Because if he dies, you can't make grunge jokes anymore. No, that's probably what's gonna happen. No, he'll probably write a really cool ukulele song about this and then fucking hang himself from a doorknob. <laughs> Fuck you! That's below the belt. <laughs> Stephanie Falcone making a good point. We gotta add it to the bonfire conspiracy list. Number one's the Earth's flat. Number two, it's a hologram moon. And number three, it's autoerotic asphyxiation anytime someone hangs themselves. Who's arguing with me on this? So wait, so they Aaron, always jerk off and choke themselves. That's, that's the M. Night Okerson. What about they? It's always us versus them. Yeah. What about we? What about we? <laughs> we lost one. The royal we has never jerked off with a tie around my neck. Well, I don't think I've ever come being choked. Christine, choke me on my next come. No. Remember my friend that killed the girl? Mm-hmm. Wait, that's I don't seriously do it. a thing? Yeah, remember we talked about it. it was this guy. Oh. Remember the, the BDSM guy? I wasn't was, here. You weren't? I was mm-hmm. in San Francisco. Oh, that's crazy. Because I just remember people. How come I never see you and this guy in the same place? It's because <laughs> are you the choke? Are you the choke fuck murderer? <laughs> choke fuck. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There are videos of him. He's a, a friend of mine from high school, and there are videos of him where he had like Do tied you know girl? up girls and duct taped them. Mm. No, and Yeesh. was he a little guy? Yeah, he's like my height. Because that girl's got a thick neck. <laughs> yes. well, could you admit that uh, I, love, I live for the challenge? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the hunt is really about taking no, down. Well, you admit this. that the guy's pretty attractive? Yeah. Can we was, admit that? He goes, look at this girl with Mike Allstott neck. I'm going to take her down. Um, Yeah, Lou. It's, yeah. yeah, Hutchinson. Uh, mm-hmm. Hutchins? Hutchins did it. He's the only one. You know what's funny? Once... He, the fact that it came out that uh, that he did that, it's so his legacy now. That that's why I think they always try to say now yeah. they just hung themselves. It's Wait, but no one hangs themselves to death on purpose anymore. It's all about Aaron jerking Hernandez off. Aaron Hernandez did. Aaron yes. Hernandez did. He had no other choice. But I bet he jerked off before he did it. He went like before, this. Before, like a gentleman. Yeah. Not during. We'll never hey. know if they were caught with their pants down either. That's really, it's like if we could just know that fact. I bet there's a public relations that firm that weird. only deals with this. With so erotic. <laughs> When something like this happens and the phone calls and they go, I'm the best public relations man in all the game. I always twist a choke cum into just a choking. <laughs> if, uh, when, um, I think when Eddie Vedder does it, he's going to be hanging from a Neil, uh, young scarf. Yeah. And, uh, his dick's gonna be like. Keep on uh, jerking yeah. in the free world. And you know what's funny? And his hands are gonna be tied behind his back, and he's gonna have peanut butter all over his dick. Yeah. I bet he was trying to lure a dog over to suck his dick. That sounds like Eddie Vedder shit to me. I think that's <laughs> slander, and you're totally wrong. I'm just taking a wild guess at how he's gonna kill himself. Dude, as the only one in this room that's met Eddie Vedder, can I just say I don't feel that vibe off him, bro. Fuck yeah. You don't get the peanut butter with the dog it off. You say she's a straight up jerk death. No, totally. Okay, so he says he's gonna die from auto asphyxiation. He just. Not in the bestiality. Well, Dan, Dan's goes, met him, so when I, shook, know. when I shook his hey, hand, he goes, "You got a good grip. You think <laughs> you could wrap that around my neck?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, damn, what's your mind? <laughs> there's oh, a lot. Man. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on overseas, and uh, Dan sort of you have a very strong grip. You mind, you mind putting it around my neck real quick? <laughs> Let me just work it out real quick. If you could just uh, cut off my carotid while I slug <laughs> one out. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, that. You can shut your eyes, but no, you're just going to hear my hand going quickly into my jeans because it's through the zipper. 
Guy lost his best friend, and now he's, he may turn on the radio and listen to you two. Yeah, shock better, jocking the poor guy. Oh, his best don't friend. say that. We can't say grunge. You can't say shock jock. Yes, you can. <laughs> Try to hurt you. I'm America's <laughs> last shock jock. I said earlier, is it worse to think somebody's into something weird sexually than it is to think that they killed themselves? I, apparently. Apparently, that's the worst thing to do is to jerk because off. Because that's your legacy fun. forever. That's your legacy forever. Michael Hutchins, that is, is his legacy forever. Is Michael Hutchins the Kill Bill guy? No, he's a... Uh, uh, in excess. In excess yeah, David Carradine is the Christine. Kill Bill. Christine, I'm Christine you say two things a week that make me want to break up. With I know, spot. I know, but he did it too, right? <laughs> yes, David Kung Fu did it. He did it. Too. Yeah, Kung Fu also did it, and that's why his legacy is ruined. Because that's why you see you mistook them that's for each other. Fo- they couldn't be more different from each other, and you thought they were the same person. But that's, they both had the devil inside. The Carradine thing was a new form of karate. I think they got from that. <laughs> yeah, it was a kata. It was kata fourteen. He went, the highest level of kata. He went, watch me reach the ultimate level. <laughs> I will go to the other side and return. <laughs> oh, my sensei taught me that this is the oh, only way. That is nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, Do you think he listened to In Excess while he was doing it? Oh, that's what I was, thinking, I was just thinking that the guy from Pearl Jam. Yeah. Eddie Vedder would be jerking off. While, watching the, while watching the Fisher King? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... What were you going to say, Lou? I, just right, I remember David Carradine's family refused to believe it and said, like, the Thai government had had set him up. That's great. Uh, the Taiwanese government. Can I tell you right now, fucking Vecchion and I were dying laughing last night, just sitting on the couch doing Waking Up from Autoerotic Asphyx... As- Stephanie Falcone can make a yeah, point. Yeah, you have a hard time with it. Asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. Yeah, the same way Chris Cornell died. Yeah, he didn't die that way. Yeah, he did. That's what Jay thinks. He did. But we kept doing the... Whenever somebody dies from hanging, they're always jerking off. No one just hangs themselves. So we were doing the waking up from a... When you you jerk off and choke yourself. Yeah. I agree with you. But it's funnier if you do... And you take pills and go out there... The hanging yourself is, uh, he was, he was, look, he was in a dark place and he's like, Let me maybe, pop I'll, one maybe, off. maybe I'll choke beat and see how I feel after that. Choke beat? <laughs> Let me get a choke beat in. Yeah, I'll get a quick choke beat in. And then he does it, he goes, <gasps> oh God, there's dry cum on my tummy, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, did I sneeze? Oh no, I came. <laughs> yeah, he goes, <gasps> what, is what time is it? Oh God, I came so much. Well, right away he goes, that was a good jerk beat. You know what? I'm going to put these pills away. I got another couple shows in me. It's so, we kept doing it on our couch last night. Just, oh, oh, wow. I came like a geyser. Black hole sun looks like I come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, spoon man. More like cum man. Splooge man, huh? Splooge man. Uh, you know, I'm going to call my wife and tell her that. Hey, hon, splooge man. He goes, how hilarious is that? No, I just woke up. Yeah, no, no, I, no, I checked myself and I was jerking off. No, I was, I was probably dead for like Nikki six minutes. I mean, like, uh, I was hovering over myself and I saw myself hanging from a doorknob, and dick I go, in hand, and I was like, I was like, one, I have kids, two, I should finish this. Yeah, and you go, I, my, my piece looks purple. I'm about to pop. Let me jump back in my body. <laughs> you know what? Let me try reverse grip. Maybe it'll happen faster. <laughs> I wonder if I can jerk myself off in the spirit realm. <laughs> I'm going to go down there and try it. Nah, nah, damn, my hand's going right through it. All right, I'm going back into my body. Yeah. I know you're about to come, but you better turn around and go towards the light. Right? Yeah. I'm your guardian angel. Don't you understand? Chris Cornell, you're a jerk. You're Chris, a jerk. You're Chris, a you got you're so much star. more to do. You got so much more to do. I need to, you got to get back out there. We're only a few years away from Robot Cops. I need a theme song for me to fight Robot Cops. I'm telling you right now, Chris, you got a couple more acoustic toys inside of you. You got to turn around and go back towards the light. Go finish that jerk beat. Nobody who's 50 years old has hair like that. You can let that go just from a jerk beat? Oh my God, your hair's thick. It's going to be as thick as your load when you jump back in your body. Way down. Way, way down, buddy. Go. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, the choke jerk angel. Strangle? <laughs> yeah. David Kennedy. I loved you in Kung Fu. You gotta go back in your body so you can finish the jerk. <laughs> uh, let's take a Next break. Next time you do it, put the belt buckle on the other side, not by the carotid artery. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's, it seems ridiculous that I even gotta tell you that as much as you've been jerked. As I much as you've been jerked. Ch- for, ch- ch- <laughs> for as much as you know about Kung Fu, you know so little about veins <laughs> and arteries. While we were not together, Chester from Lincoln Park. Oh yeah. Died. Yeah, he hung himself. Hung himself. Another person magically hanged themselves to death from a doorknob of a closet uh, because Dude, they I were love in fact that. not trying to kill themselves. They were jerking off while 
you're, you're fucking choking yourself. You confirmation of that? No, but let me tell you a theory that Jay has concocted. And yeah. again, don't as I'm stating, concocted, so I don't listen, like dude, you're, you're, you're making me be corporate me. Dan, and I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't like being that on here. But for the sake of doing jobs <laughs> and everyone else on the bonfire, Jay's opinion is his alone. Uh, Jay has a theory that no one's killing themselves. They're just choke jerking. Because no one can kill themselves on a doorknob. Exception of Ryan Hernandez and the guy who kept the girls prisoner in Cleveland because uh, you can't kill yourself any other way in prison. You really drilled into these suicides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, says, like, he says all celebrities... All who celebrities, the fuck? Wait, Sal, you, if someone goes kill yourself right now, you have to kill yourself. Yeah. You could choose how you do it. You have an endless supply of money as these celebrities do. You could kill yourself however you want. It, it, where is hanging yourself in any of that? I mean, it's probably the most immediate because you don't have to go. What? Out. Yeah, you're just like there. Chris Cornell did it with exercise rubber bands. No, oh, dude, even better. Oh, and he was he was also jerking off. Well, that's Jay's theory. Oh, do not fall. See how uh, a theory this becomes a conspiracy. A this is going past theory to me. And it's By the way, good job. Fact. Good job. That was Rob Cornell, Chris Cornell's brother. He works for True TV. I thought you were going to say it was Mike Shinoda, the fucking yeah. rappy guy from so Lincoln Park. That, you think that's not cool. He's just rapping at us. Yo, go, yo, yo. Oh, but you ain't got no hook now, do you, <laughs> Shinoda? Do you think there's an asphyxiation epidemic going on? Jay is one of those people that does. You think? Now, listen, before you start saying that I'm crazy here. You are. I'm not. <laughs> Why would you hang yourself when there's massive amounts of drugs you could take and go to sleep and never wake up? Why would you be so dramatic? Here's why. They're not trying to kill themselves. They're jerking off. Then recently, because I've been so public about this belief, a person came to me and said, uh, actually, it's a pretty common thing with people who are trying to kick opiates or have kicked opiates because it's a natural way to have that. They said that rush when you come choking. I like that Crystal is nodding her head yes. Like I'm giving a speech about uh, fracking. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Yes. All fucked up. Yeah. So true. Stop that pipeline. There, there was such, there was such belief in that. Petition. She goes, this guy's speaking the truth. Yeah, she goes, you know what? I'm glad I came. Gin, evolve, everybody. Gin, yeah. evolve. I, I mean, isn't masturbation good enough? Like, I never was like, let me just all Well, to this guy, myself. but I'm not a heroin addict. Right. I'm not recovering heroin. So you're, wait, you're saying that, that the choke jerk replicates the high of heroin? That's or what they're saying. That's what these people have said. What a weird way to get there, huh? Right. You go, so guys, do it. You go, it goes like this. My guys, name. I think I found out how to get a heroin high. <laughs> yeah. Well, Might I suggest, <sighs> like, people do heroin with their friends. Why don't you just get a spotter? If you're gonna jerk choke, choke jerk, and then you just do it with friends, like you like they, like you're supposed to do genius, yeah, That's, genius. It's exactly what I said. It's also one of my. Fi it's exactly what I said. I said on the internet, so there's evidence of this that I will have Christine spot me, and uh, I'm. Do, gonna, do I, I do not want to come in one Monday, <laughs> and Christine's like. Jay's no longer with us. I'm not. I'm I'm not goes, a good he was heavier than he looked. I <laughs> couldn't get him up. I'm like, okay, Christine, I came. Get me up now. She's like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah,
One of them's like they hit it with a hammer. Uh, one's they burn it. The third one is just... <laughs> 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 and then he just goes to the next one like it's nothing. But by the way, it's such, it's such a quick pan that it's just Jay, it's just Jay red-faced mid-jack. <laughs> like, <laughs> man. Or, they, they, or, show, they show him doing one on a weak door, and all yeah. it breaks. He's like... Uh, so he shows his dick I go, oh, I was right there. I was right there. <laughs> and they're, they're tired of this happening to you? Yeah. <laughs> is the so wife sick gone? Stupid old soft doorknob. <laughs> is the wife gone for the weekend? Did you just want to have your fun? <laughs> <laughs> Choke jerk. I do I was holding up to four shots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm secure on now. I love to jerk off at this door now. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. never felt anything since I wore four titles in Los Angeles. <laughs> if I had my wits about me, yeah. I should have got a spotter. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> we do, one of our impressions was waking up from an autoerotic asphyxiation jerk off where you're like this. <gasps> oh, God, this come all over me. <laughs> yeah. You know how long you've been out by how dry the jizz on your chest is? Oh, that's all milk mustached up. Yeah. Uh, how long was I out? You go, ow, 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 ow. Pulling it out. My hairs are all mad at yeah. the county. Oh. oh, God. But that means success. Yes. Yeah. You didn't die. You didn't oh, die. Yeah. You woke yeah, up. You want to wake up and see that, really. You either wake up in heaven or a fucking <laughs> chest with dried clam chowder on it. <laughs> um, and, uh, it's clearly a choke jerk. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Look, once they re- released that what Michael they- Hutchins and, and David Carradine died from that. Yeah. It, it, it's their legacy now. If you go, if you go, my, if you say NXS, someone will say immediately first thing I think. And if I you go Michael Hutchins, you'll go, oh yeah, the guy who died a uh, choke jerk and yeah. lead singer of NXS. Yeah. Do you think you don't go? And when this one goes David Carradine, you go, oh yeah, Kung Fu jerked off to death. <laughs> first, you got to remind yourself who he is. Right. Kung and then, Fu, then yeah. I mean, Do you think there's it, any clues? It's, it's, it's your legacy. So and we have impressionable Chris listeners. Like, you probably have impressionable listeners. So I would also say, guys, no, no ch- uh, choke jerk is is worth uh, your life. Yeah, and do it with a buddy. Do it with a buddy. You but know what? Also, I'm not prepared to say that because these guys keep dying from choke jerking, and they keep going back to the well. Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington's friend, died very short, not long ago. And he was like, man, I'm so sad about Chris. You know, I was going to get my mind off all this. Maybe I'll throw my own choke jerk. Goes the same way. Oh, Chris Cornell was also a choke jerk? Come yeah. on! <laughs> if you're going to hang yourself, why would you do it from a doorknob? It doesn't even make any sense. You have but to like, work so But if you take the pills to, to do it, then you also you, then you lose the, the extra bonus of masturbating. True. Oh, this is you jerk off Oh, you know pills. what, though? And it is, a choke jerk is a one for the road kind of scenario. Right. That's a road soda of jerking. Dude, by the way, setting up a choke jerk has to make you feel weird. Well, you're, like, oh. you're, right you're just like, you're, you're on the phone with your mom and you're like, yeah, mom. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're trying to get like, the noose ready. Hey, hold on. As you're doing it, you go like this. You go, that's a fucking box knot. You <laughs> yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah. You go, you, you got a noose. You go, all right. Got this you go, hold on. I got to put, 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 put my towel down on the door so my fucking balls don't hit tile. <laughs> He goes, all right, I'm going to test out this new coning doorknob. He says he can hold up to four shacks. Yeah. All right, here we go. He goes, you know, he goes, Settle into it. You know, what I love? Yeah. you know what I love about a Marriott? Strong doorknobs. <laughs> yeah, he I, he goes, all right, anyway, Ma. All right, happy Passover. Go ahead, Amar. You're watching porn on your phone, and you go, okay. <laughs> I, wait, I don't get something, though, because uh-huh. I don't. I never really thought of this, but, like, could, don't, can't they just stand up? Huh? Like, if, oh, if you're like sitting down, like how are they choking to death? Because you when feel they feel like you're choking too much, when they're coming, they're pa- when they're coming, they're passing out. That's all right. They're passing out, then they're just choking. What I was gonna say is, do, do you think there's signs of choke jerking in Lincoln Park music if you play it backwards? <laughs> I've become so, I've like, become so numb. Yeah, 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 I joke, joke, jerk all the time. I was gonna say, I've become so numb. It's like your body's numb because you cut off all the blood to it into your head. I just went cut. Yeah. I've become so numb. <laughs> Doing jerks on a door, numb, son. <laughs> I can feel you there. I tell you, it feels so good when the air is gone. <laughs> 
I try so hard. <laughs> he tried Can I get an so hard. He he tried get an so encore hard. and a strong door. <laughs> it's all here. So they're on purpose. The, they're the, killing themselves. No, no, they want to pass no. out on purpose, even when it happens successfully. They're dying by accident. But they, is that part no, of the normal? they're passing out on purpose. I see your question, I don't and, I, and I want to understand, too. In a choke, you seem to, we're going to you as the choke jerk expert. Yes, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> Professor Choke Jerk. Do you, when you come on a choke jerk, do you pass out? Every time? No, probably not. Do you get right to the edge of passing out? Is it like when Hulk Hogan used to have the sleeper on him and your hand goes down twice? And then the third time you're like, oh. Yeah. That's and then real American yeah. starts playing. Poor <laughs> dick. Um, so when you're gonna do it, you mm-hmm. say to yourself, "I may pass out. If I pass out, I can't loosen this." So I literally always may die every time I do this. Um. No. Yeah. That I is feel like weird. you're just really going with this by the seat of your pants. You're just kind of that wasn't, a little bit on that that wasn't one. a confident yes. A little bit on that one. No, I think it's not. The, they don't do it to pass out every time. I think it's done with the idea that they're going to come loosen the fucking thing. I think in the action of like getting somewhere in between that getting ready to come and coming, they're just going like they're they're nodding out because they're fucking. The wind's cut off, and they fucking... I'm too die. nervous to do it, because I fall asleep. There's dicks in their hands, and then people pay Ray Donovan types to come and be like... Cut oh, him out? He was, he was super sad, because a guy th- from a band 20 years older than him died two weeks do ago. Do you think that's Do you think that's their fixer, that's their version of a cat in a tree problem for firefighters? They go, another dead celebrity choke jerk. He's like, I'll be right over. <laughs> I already got the story correct. The wolf. Yeah. <laughs> the wolf has come over. But I fall asleep too easily watching TV, so I don't trust a choke jerk. Haven't you ever just fallen asleep after a regular old jerk when you're uh, yeah. you know, stretched out in a hotel room or something? Well, you don't live, you live, you, you could do it at home, but like, for me in a hotel room, like a real stretch out, naked one, you just conk, and then you wake up because your dick itches a ton because it got short with jizz on it. <laughs> what a great description. You of really paid the picture. <laughs> yeah. I like to fancy myself a wordsmith. <laughs> But what does that have to do with so you're saying, getting choked I, out? Yeah, but I don't think you're just like, I think you're much more relaxed in that situation than choking while you're coming. No, picture being that relaxed and you have no air. Yeah, that no, that's terrible. not relaxed. Terrible. No, it's not relaxed, but you're going to pass out. But they're not looking for a relax. Getting they're choked looking for, they're at, looking for during any activity my whole life doesn't sound good. Huh? Like if you were like, you want to go water skiing? We'll choke you out. I'm like, no. Yeah. I Some will pe- say this, though. You've never fucked a chick who likes to be choked? I've done it. It makes me uncomfortable as hell. Millions, man. Jay. But what I'm talking about <laughs> myself. I used to play that game in middle school where Millions. you would, where you would push on each other's chest and pass out. So it's basically. Yeah, you don't remember that in school? I didn't no, do it. I never heard of that till this moment. You oh, cross man. your arms, I like guess, if you'll push out and you hold it, your breath and yeah. you pass out. I did one in science, in seventh grade science class. I, sh- I was showing my friend Casey it where she was like, what do you guys do? And I go, go like this. And I br- you breathe between, between your knees and bring it up and put both your hands on your neck like that. And then I was just waking up on the floor of my science This crowd's class. getting all weird. I'm sorry you guys didn't grow up with single dating mothers. <laughs> we they didn't have the internet. <laughs> sounds like irre- My mom could afford cause- Nintendo. Me and my friends had to pass out <laughs> without like, jerking off. Cause irreversible damage. No, not really. You're just kind of looking if you could take a knockout or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here and say, say, I believe you are right. It could cause irreversible damage. Because oh, you're cutting man. off oxygen to your brain. What yeah. Dan doesn't realize is the irreversible damage is the part of his brain that makes him think there couldn't be Irreversible damage. <laughs> well, I'm no, sorry. Ever, too late. ever since that day, I've just been going forward. So, uh, I'm sorry. You guys are in the bat nick picking. Oh shit! Wait, can females do a ch- choke? Man? That's a weird. That's thing. a question I mean, for Christine. She has a microphone. Christine, can you choke jerk? Yeah, I'm actually reading up on it right now, though. Most oh, I thought you were doing it. You were reading up on female female choke right now. jerking. Well, no, I you. You can, it's just, it's like, remember my friend that killed the girl from the bondage? I wasn't there. I was at my grandmother's uh, house. Well, I have a friend that killed a girl from bondage. It's like. Choke jerking I'm, my grandma. <laughs> uh, I really, I really 100% agree with Jay on this. I think this is what people are doing. I think it's not talked about. And I think. Well, you really is, think that Jay's. Yeah, no, you don't think it's suicide. No, I think it's way better for Chris Cornell's legacy to be suicide than choke jerking. That's no, it's what I not. Think. Yeah, the sure pl- it is. Black hole son is way cooler if it's a choke jerk. No. <laughs> Black 
whole song's oh, like, what that's what you see? It's like, it's like you just, like, all the lights start to go black. That's what I'm saying. Joke, and joke jerking. The, the guy from NXS, by the way, it was ruled suicide, and then it was his girlfriend that was like, eh, it was autoerotic asphyxiation. And we should almost just tell everybody, hey, if you kill yourself hanging, we're all going to say that you We're all going to jerk in front of you. If you hang yourself, like we're all going to make legacy. fun of you. I'm like, to make love, not war. Can I back it up about 45 seconds? To when you said, you know my friend who killed the girl from bondage? Yeah. And then no one, we just let that slide. I, I had a friend that was way into BDSM, a friend from high school, and it was, you know, quote unquote consensual shit, but he was like wrapping girls in plastic bags and strangling them. And he killed a girl. Is something wrong the, with me? No, something's wrong. You don't want to keep I, a bitch I, fresh with some saran wrap? We shouldn't accept this stuff. And we're in this age of everybody should accept everybody. Like, this is like shooting heroin. It's a very dangerous game to play, and you shouldn't do it. Yeah, some people like needle drugs, he, and some people jail? like being smothered while yeah, they come. Yeah, there's a whole, like, he's being held right now. Like, he killed... Oh, it's a, recent? It, it was, like, last year. And I I can tell you this much. Like, I don't think that guy had the intention on killing her, because there's video of it, because he was videotaping it. What the fuck yeah. is going on in life? Mm-hmm. A lot of videotaping? I'm going to watch that said, while I choke her. He said you're... Uh, he Almost said at the end like of the video, he said, uh, you're free to go. And she didn't get up, because she was dead. I mean, what That's a fucking... have on record, though. Oh, Get man. Here. Oh, what are you going to squat here? Squatter's rights? I said, go! He goes, mm-hmm. he goes fly away, bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was suffocating through... A, she got wrapped in plastic wrap? Yeah, because he was, like, you know, wrapping these girls in plastic and strangling them and then, like, fucking them while they were passed out. And it's like, that's okay because it was consensual. You can't we consent love you guys. to Thank you for being here at the JFL. Lincoln Park's crawling. It's part of our Choke Jerk Thursday. Choke Jerk Thursday. We're doing all people that Jay suspects of dying of choke jerk. Suspects. Cold hard facts. It's not whole cold hard facts. If I learned anything getting my journalism degree, you need to say, sources say, choke jerk. What if I were to say, I'm about to leak a video of all these guys choke jerking successfully before. It's all on your cell phone. And they go, Jay, you got it? Here we go. <laughs> I'm a spotter to the stars. Spotter Jay. Sometimes Anderson. they just get too overzealous and they try to do it without me. We could do that Those as a things. whole, we could do that as a whole web series. You was a choke jerk spotter. Choke jerk spot. We you come in with a fucking weight belt. Come on. And, come and on. like a bench press shirt. Oh, dude. I like the weight belt, but I, want, I like the belt that the Home Depot guys wear. It's yeah. got like suspenders built yeah. into it. Back brace, dog. Yeah. I thought I, uh, when they told me I was going to unload trucks when I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got the first question in the interview, I go, do, oh, do I get a back brace? And they go, if you need one. And I was like, <laughs> I, I probably need one. You got my back's all fucked up. But they're like, you have to buy those. You bring those from home. Oh, you thought it was like you thought yeah. it was a like government issue. I thought it was triple B or, or issued. Oh, is this a bed bath and beyond one? Oh, y'all's fit tight. <laughs> oh, I like your guys' back braces. Oh, I'm gonna get so many boxes of loofahs off that truck. Oh yeah, choke jerk spotter. That wouldn't be a bad gig. Be great. I mean, it'd be real awkward. You're like, I'm really. I won't tell. I'll tell. I'll tell everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody and my name. I'm what would your? Se- I'm a bad secret keeper on juicy stuff. I'd be Dan the Shadow Soder. I'm just in the background. You just have a choke jerk. If <laughs> things get out of control, I'm there to get you. Oh, he's going down. Oh. Pick him up. Pick him up. Go, go. He's nodding. He's nodding. He's out. He's nodding. Oh, God. Got he's, him. Got him. Scoop got, him. Got him. Up. That's Scoop a good rope. Hey, good rope. Hey, okay. hey, 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 you're coming. Hey, you're coming all hey, over me. Hey, oh, come on now. <laughs> come on. His feet all kicked all the shampoo off the fucking. Yeah. Wake up, Matt Damon. That's yeah. going to be extra. Yeah. Ben Kingsley, wake up. <laughs> I know you just choked your... Hey, hey. Robert Forster. Yeah. Hey. 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 Senator Joe Lieberman, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> I know you're choked your... Get up, buddy. Hey. Gallagher, too. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Hey. Former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman. <laughs> Wake up. I know you just choke jerked. I didn't know you were choke jerking. But I'll tell you this, as a Niner fan, I let him go under for a little bit longer than he should have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if he loses a few brains, though. So I just don't want to wake I up mean, and not remember who he is. It's not going to make up for him, them beating us in 95 in the <laughs> NFC Championship game. <laughs> I don't want him to wake up thinking he's Deion Sanders. <laughs> the guy, you know. Troy Aikman, former quarterback Troy Aikman, strokes out because of an attempted suicide. With us here... Choke jerk spotter, Jay Okerson. Yeah, I told him I'd be there in 15 minutes, and this guy said he had to start in 10. Yeah. So, you know, he's, yeah. a fa- he's, a, he's a fast spurter, and I got there a little bit late to the game, but uh, I was able to get him up, 
pump life back into him, saw uh, life come back to his lips, and uh, and here we are. Still got some zip on that ball. He played catch with me in the backyard after I spotted him. <laughs> hey, hey, Donald Fagan, one half of Steely Dan. <laughs> yeah. uh, Robert, <laughs> hey, casino magnet Robert Wynn, way to go. Oh, dude, those rich, super rich guys, they have to have jerk, choke jerk spotters. Of course, but it's probably, like, they can probably get a few girls that can carry them. Mmm, what a sexy, what a sexy way to do it. This is my three, fleet of three jer- girls watch me choke jerk. Oh man. Just, yeah, strong, powerful Ecuadorian women. That'll be a real commercial for how good the stroke jerk is. Because if you have three women present and if they're, if you're paying them to, oh, you know what's funny? You probably, oh, oh. yeah, keep going. We gotta see how many, it's probably not that many people. Welcome. Uh, to the first access, ever, of course. Choke jerk invitational. Hyde? Who's Hyde? A well-known Japanese singer and songwriter who was famous for being in the bands X Japan and Zilch. Oh, I like that. Zilch. Um, it's all dudes. 34 years old. Is that a dude? No, I yeah. It's a dude. No chicks are getting caught choke flicking. Sh- does it say the word he? Yeah. Yes. He was found. Hanging in his hotel bedroom. Um, Imagine, I don't think any of the poor should have benefits. Now, just let me choke you. <laughs> Vaughn Baudet. Was a cartoonist and illustrator who... More on Hyde. Go ahead. Stephen Milligan? Who's that? Conservative, conservative British, British politician. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, God. Can you remember? Sexual, transsexual, unisexual, and omnisexual. Come on down I'll tell to, you what he was in it. Come on down to Von Bodie. We got all the sexuals. We got autosexual. <laughs> we got heterosexual and our new omnisexual. It's like Bob's Furniture. Uh, For $699, you can be with any of our omnisexual. He was created, he was considered, uh, credited as an influence on the films Wizards and, uh, The Lord of the Rings. No shit. Yeah, look at that. But he died in 75. By the way, from Utica, New York. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> with that goofy ass name, didn't you feel like, yeah, you were, I thought this was like, like a Norwegian, yeah. yeah, like some kind of Norwegian. Just outside of Black Sulker. metal god or something? No. Uh, all right, go back, because the next one was Kevin Gilbert. <laughs> Created the character Cheech Wizard. Baudet enjoyed sexual experimentation and considered himself to be auto, uh, autosexual, heterosexual, homosexual, manosexual, sado. Black hood over his face with, with a leather, leather strap. strap. <laughs> well, that's how usually you do it. At least the guy had, at least the guy bought the, ge- like the gear. He kicked it at 30. <clears throat> Who's this? Francisc <laughs> Kowatsara. I mean, they're they really... from the 70s. How do you know this possibly? Yeah, they're not. That story went down from generation. That's how, like, the, uh, girl puts peanut butter on her pussy so the dog eats it off. The angel starts. Tale. Yeah. On so. September 2nd, 1971, he visited a prostitute and paid her. <laughs> he was a musician who worked with such artists as Madonna, Michael Jackson, Eddie Money. Well, that is the, that's the Holy Trinity right there. Uh, oh, dude, he, he was found with a black... God, that guy parties, huh? Yeah, that's pretty bad. He's one of the first... What he's, if this I guy's told, a pioneer. He goes, what I told you I want you to cut off my testicles? She goes, no. He goes, well, can I at least hang myself while I bag you? Goes, yeah, I guess. <laughs> that girl was like, I clearly... Do you have the song, The Battle of Prague? Do we have that available? It's He composed two shillings... To cut off his testicles. Yeah, which she declined to do. He then tied a noose around his neck and proceeded to have sex with her... Until he was dead in the 1700s. Most famous for his song, The Battle of Prague. Dude, how do you... I mean, as a prostitute, you can be like, I'm not going to cut your nuts off. (laughs) Cool, if I choke while I fuck you? She goes, absolutely. Let's hear. Balls, cut off my balls, cut off my balls. Would you mind taking a sharp razor-like object in... Nipping off my beans, please. What have I told you? I wanted my coin purse removed. <laughs> Take. Hey, would you mind removing my nut bag? I've got a symphony to compose. I feel if I had less semen pumping through my veins, I could, could finally compose the greatest song ever. No? No, you won't? Okay. Well, what if I just like put this noose here <laughs> and then I hit it from the back. <laughs> Madam, would you do me the honor of removing my marbles while I put this black hood over my face? I'm going to put this hood over my face and when I pull it off, I better not have testicles. 
And then I would like to have sex with you until I am in fact dead. Yes. A gentleman's way out. Bleeding from the testicles dead due to fucking. All right, who's next? I'm off. <laughs> and goodbye. That's it. Nah, dude, that was a real fucking ranker. You really stretched. Yeah, real nice. Okay. Well, real nice. That ends. Well, there Not you go. Selling people that they died of autoerotic yeah. asphyxiation. There's more people. Yeah, they stopped doing it. I'm telling you because these people now it's their legacy. There is, you know. Um, I think of Jay- David Carradine jerking off before I think of Kill Bill. Real or more than kung fu? Yep. Yeah. You think of autoerotic asphyxiation? I think that he died jerking off. Right? Am I crazy, everybody? I mean, he did die jerking off. Yeah, and that's the first thing you think of. That supersedes. I like Kill the, Bill. This is going to start to get real deep for you, like deep, deep conspiracy theories. We're like, what if you? What if I told you that Kennedy was jerking off in the Cadillac as he got shot? I bet if you look it up, there's. Uh, I'm not the only person who says this. I bet if you look up autoerotic asphyxiate suicide conspiracy theories, autoerotic asphyxiation. Look it up. Because I want to see how dark this rabbit hole goes. I've converted Lou, I believe. Yeah, I'm a believer. Are you a believer? I believe this theory now. I have to meet someone in a parking garage on 23rd Street? He's like, I have files. By the way, I call people that believe in me, believers. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get that from? Are you trying to steal that away? (laughs) Justin Justin Bieber goes, what happened to my fan base? (laughs) It's a bunch of dudes who think celebrities killed themselves by choke jerk. You're not a believer. You're a (laughs) belokerson. You're a belokerson. You're a belokerson or a beloader. I don't think, uh, I mean, you're right that it ruins their legacy, so they don't want to fucking be known for it, but I don't think. Well, there's, there's also a story <laughs> going around that they were murdered to cover up a pedophile ring. That's all, that's the other conspiracy? Who, that, who was? That's Snopes, that, uh, Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell were murdered to cover up a pedophile ring. But wasn't Chester, uh, bullshit. didn't somebody touch or his not. thing when he was little? I think so. I think he was lost. In- his dinger? You can't do that scream at all unless somebody touched your dick against your will. That's what gives you that range? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is Snopes? Where it's Chester... B- website. It's a fake news? Yeah. Fake news. It's false. Oh, it's rating false. So someone just fucking... But there's really, like, I'm surprised that I'm not seeing more about this. I'm the only one with the balls to say it. And I might be killed for it, guys. But please, Lou, if I die, keep the story going. It's the most important thing. I I was trying to see if the story was real. Like, his wife, uh, after he died, apparently went on Twitter and was saying stuff about, like, that she was sleeping with Mike. There's a thing that she was sleeping with Mike Shinoda. Oh, that'd be so great. But I, I, like, haven't been able to find if this is fake news or not. Well, you've been off screaming in other bands. He's been rapping in my sniz. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to fuck you better. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> this is my pussy now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how deep this theory goes. Uh, I'm a Cornell fan. I'm oh, sorry, dude. Huh? I'm a Cornell fan. I think and you cool. couldn't be a fan of anyone's talent if they decide also on their own free time? Very good point. To jack off while they choke themselves? I bet you're into some weird shit. Very good point. You're not. I know you're not into any weird shit at all. I'm into very... I have sex missionary. Then missionary I, and doggy, I feel like. That's it. Uh, I go from the side sometimes. You hit it from the side? Yeah. While you're laying on your side? Yeah. Ooh, you two got a big piece. That's a big piece uh, right there, Lou. You don't know about that. That's not. It's angle. Do you? I'm not talking to you, Black Lou. I know you know what I'm talking about. It's all angle. We saw your wife's face at the Corey Feldman show. She gets it. She looked exhausted. <laughs> That's what Black Lou was like, yo, we're going to leave after the second song. You ain't getting this dick tonight. And she goes, let's go right now. She goes, I, just, I don't like you. He's sad. It's sad watching him. Hey, He's I got a know. big one. You know that. Oh, I guess somebody wants to be walking around on normal at work tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to be Ms. Sheriff tomorrow? <laughs> or <laughs> do, 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 uh, all right, do, I guess we can watch Corey Feldman. I always got to blow your booty hole out. <laughs> We're going to do it on the car, in the car, too. I guess we have to blow your booty hole out in the car. <laughs> Poor Uber owner. Uh, got some balls and some cocks. Oh, yeah, I love that. You pulled that from what the hell happened to me? Yeah. Cock and balls? I knew you'd like it. Oh, yeah, just lay under the tree and play with your um, cock and balls. Wait, what was it? Oh, you did not find it? I, I think it was a hack. I think her Twitter got hacked, but right after he What died, a fucking mean thing to tweet. Yeah, it's really... What did it, it say? What was the tweet? 
um, I love Mike. We all move on fast. I'm glad he killed himself. Jesus. I guess this is the time to say it, but I should have been cheating on Chester with Mike Shinoda. Like, I, and it, it says it was a hack. I mean, it must be. But this went out from her, like, verified account. But, man, what kind of fucking scumbag would do that? Yeah, what kind of dickhead? Like, why would you, what could you possibly hate Lincoln Park for that much? Uh, Like, you know what I mean? Like, listen, I hate certain celebrities. I hate Eddie Vedder. Now, I don't know how to say it, but I certainly wouldn't hack his thing and be like, hey, I'm Eddie Vedder. I totally like to suck my friend Lou's dick. Oh, I would say that. That'd make you so cool in the hood. Lou would be like, thank you. No, I don't hate. I don't think I hate any celebrity. I, that's, a, that's a very malicious. But I mean, that's, but that's, that's beyond hate. That's just like that's pure evil. Yeah, just to be like to do that to someone whose husband just killed himself is pretty fucked up. Yeah, but I, even I'm trying to find the argument of like, no, it was funny. It's like, nah, not really. Can we? Uh, by all, oh, look at that. Look at that. Coming up when you type in autoerotic asphyxiation. Law enforcement sources tell the sing uh, tell us the singer hanged himself. And a part, why is it not hung? Why is it hanged? I don't know oh. why it's hanged. Uh, he hanged himself at a private residence in Palos Verdes Estates in L.A. County. His body was discovered Thursday just before 9 a.m. He was married with six children and from two wives. Jeez, I didn't know he had six kids. The singer, uh, yeah, fucking pull out, man. Hit it in the chops every now and again. <laughs> the singer struggled with drugs and alcohol for years. He had said in the past he considered committing suicide because he had been abused as a child by an older male. Uh, another famous person dies by means of auto rock asphyxiation. Grunge rocker Chris Cornell was found dead. Police investigate possible suicide. Uh, and he hangs himself. Police investigate possible suicide. And it was on Cornell's birthday. As was with most who die by means of autoerotic asphyxiation, the body is found with a rope or a belt around the neck, pants down, etc. The police will claim that the death is an apparent suicide. Better to comment suicide commit. than to commit suicide than to die while masturbating. Famous people who die by, by let, means of autoerotic. Look at this updated list. Number one, Robin, Robin Williams. Uh, hey, I mean, first person on the list. Uh, oh, number one. Oh, I'm joking. Uh, oh, I'm going out. Number one. Oh, everything's, oh. everything's turning white. Everything's, everything's going. Everything's, everything's black. black. Oh, now I'm so hard. Now I'm so. <laughs> oh, I'm so soft. Oh, I'm about to get there. Oh, I'm about to get there. Oh God. Oh, oh, stomach pancakes. Of course. Oh, some of it hit my face. Oh my God. Look at me. Oh, I'm spurting. I'm like an oil well. <laughs> uh, David Carradine, Chris Cornell, Michael Hutchinson, Hutchins. Same list. Same list, except they've added... Uh, Martin Luther? Chester Bennington. From Luther? Yeah. Not, I Martin mean, Luther? Look that up. And then Chester Bennington was added to the list. I mean, your theory, someone's grabbing hold to it. Holds up completely. This is on what? Roman, Ca- Roman Catholic Imperialist Blogspot.com. So this is a guy. This is just a guy in his basement that probably listens to the show. <laughs> this is a guy who's just like, I like no, Jay. Th- these are coming up all over the place. And really, it's I was talking to somebody uh, in Montreal when I brought up Otto Rock. Detective? No, it was <laughs> the first time I saw somebody really get almost like offended by the idea. And really, it kind of comes down to, I'm like, these deaths are terrible. It really sucks these guys are dead yeah. young. But I think this is like a thing that needs to be talked about, like well, shooting heroin in really. your arm. Like, you shouldn't be, it sucks that they're doing it, but it's almost like, hey guys, don't autoerotic asphyxiate yourselves. Like, it, it, or, you could die. How do we make a belt that's a breakaway belt? Yeah. Like an emergency. <laughs> we could be yeah. sitting on millions yeah, of these dollars. People are, it's exactly, it's like if heroin acts are going to do heroin, you got to give them clean needles. And you know who's yeah. a billionaire? The guy who invented methadone. So why don't we invent the methadone? The breakaway. Choke well, oh, like the safe word release hatch or something? Yeah, where you can just pull a strip and you're gone, and then it just everything collapses and you're out. Because once you're unconscious, no, 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 you're no, unconscious. No, it's gotta you can't be, it's do gotta anything. be something about you're unconscious releasing it. Oh, dead body weight. If you drop below a certain thing. We could do this. I'm sure we could create this. Listen, we made the You're getting some lofty science fiction ideas, though, when you do saying stuff. I said that you should be able to fast-forward TV when I was seven. Now, did I create DVR? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> more than likely, uh, I More did. than likely, and they stole it from me. TiVo stole it from me. Now, a breakaway choke jerk. Yes, we invented the dildo bike. We Why did invent the dildo bike. Why can't we invent something else? Can we see what Martin Luther's story of choke jerking is? I love uh, the I have a choke I jerk. Love this, no, they, I know I lo- it's not that, Martin. I love this letter. <laughs> I have a dream. Uh, and there was some fine 
ass white pussy sitting on this motherfucker's face. Uh, and I was blasting off, blasting off. Let's see what the... Uh, I had a black belt. A strong black belt. A strong black belt that I trusted my life into. I mean, he was just fascinated, so that's not. Why do all. I wear dress shoes while I masturbate? Oh, I, love... I can't get any grip on this wood floor. I'm just slipping and flipping. <laughs> I'm flopping around like a fish who just came. <laughs> Came glory, <laughs> glorious, glorious ropes and ropes of jism. Go to, who is, Christine, go to Martin Luther. This has to be offensive to somebody. Oh, absolutely. Martin Luther looks like Chris Cornell, dude. No, um, yeah. This is, uh, the medical investigator said he's not absolutely convinced the suicide ruling is correct. In theory, it could be an accident. How, what's an accident mean? You it means you pass out choke during jerking. choke jerking. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like that you're right about Chris Cornell. It really upsets Dude, me that you're right about Chris. He like fell a, on uh, bad days. He's like, he fell on black days. <laughs> and I fell on black days. Choke jerk? The way Cornell was found means he was able to regulate the pressure on his Thank neck. Thank you. They're hanging from Please doorknobs. Speak. Please answer the question. Dude, that Does really the is. defense's case hold water? Dude, it's best. You just basically, you almost did the Ace Ventura where he goes. Chris Cornell works at Detroit. We used to go to Soundgarden. Loves sex. Loves to be choked. Was doing a show. Came back. And the, hey, somebody you. in the next room could hear him. Oh, oh. <laughs> he regulated the choke jerk attack. Yeah. Listen. Great. He was found in a torn gray T-shirt and black under. Why would he be an under? Like, what? That's what? It's like if their pants were down, their pants are down. That was information I thought we weren't going to find, but it looked like Chester Bainton was found with his pants down. Guys. Does it say that? The, well, that's what that... The thing is, is that that's not really like a a great source. No, but this... But is there a good well, source? How do you that? feel... How do you feel like if one of your friends dies and then you're like... You know, we're in the age of very public statements where people are like, it was a, it was a bright talent that went out to, the, you know, but then do you pull those retractions back and be like, by the way, your buddy was choke jerking. Not you know, at all. And you're all, fuck yeah, he was. I wouldn't give a shit at all. Like, if my friend died choke, I'd be like, man, it really must be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be more sad than if my friend wanted to kill himself or kill herself. Yeah, I'd almost know? be happier that it's like they were into some weird freak fuck shit. Yeah, like, that, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't yeah. know they were so sad. Yeah, so it's better. Like, that's the thing. That's what I don't get is why it's better to think somebody killed themselves, especially somebody that's leaving behind six kids. Because those six kids, we don't want to walk around going, my dad choked jerk to what? death. Oh, yeah, that's How'd a rough... Why did you lose your dad? Was it, he's a, oh, he was a rock star. Let me guess, like, he died heroin. Was banging heroin because he was such a, a, a strong songwriter. Like, no, no, no. Uh, Cartoon he, Network was on in the background, and he died beating his own dick tied to a doorknob in a hotel room. He had closed caption on Sports Center. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad that it's better to say somebody killed themselves. You know what's going to be weird is, is when people find out, when people start killing themselves to podcasts? And you're like, <laughs> he was listening to Mark Maron, and you're all, oh, that's a tough one. I think Christine wants to go give speeches at schools about not jerking off with a belt around your neck. You know, I talked to my we friend. My friend that people. sat in yesterday is like he was friends with the guy that's in jail now, and they've had like communicate. And it just really is such a. I thought you were gonna say the other kid that was in here with him was choke jerking. Oh no no no! Yo. It just really is a thing. <laughs> we'll we'll oh. live show that. Oh jeez. Um. We'll live. You guys have already heard this. Yeah. Jay and I, hugged. we'll talk about it. Yeah. That was crazy. You guys, that was nuts. Uh, shut up. We we were we already talking. We about already it. talked about we're, it. But uh, inside joke, inside joke. It's already happened. It's a scary. One of the things is, is like he wasn't part of the BDSM community. He was trying to do stuff in private. And BDSM community has a bunch of safe words, and it's a whole thing. And there's rules and there's regulations. When so people is there are a doing this jerk? private stuff, is there a choke jerk? No, because it's a private thing. It's something you do by yourself. How do you choke jerk? I mean, there's videos, there's Belt YouTube tutorials on yes. how they were found. Well, let's take a break and come back with that immediately. Well, uh, we're gonna, are we going to do a how-to choke jerk? Yes. All right. At least the safe way. 
uh, if we don't take the responsibility Dan, for this, nobody will. Dan believes it. I believe it He now. believes it now. He's starting this to. It's great. I mean, it We're makes so it. much sense. I yeah, it makes perfect sense. And, I, and you're right. It is, It like, there is something affirming about it that you're like, oh, okay, he didn't kill himself. He just choked himself. Yeah, he just really looks jerk off. But had, Robin Williams, too? Yeah, oh. he had an Oxycontin addiction, and apparently he's been sober since 2002, but that rush of uh, needing something to feel anything. I choke jerked myself today <laughs> to see if I could come <laughs> I focused on the joke from the god jerk. about the belt. I choked jerk today <laughs> while I was in the bathroom. If I could come again, I would. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all choke jerking. I, my theory is I jerked off in the bathroom. I hung from the doorknob. Nothing comes out when I come. It sounds like air being let out of a bag. Just looks like my pee hole coughs. There's a boy who. The needle. One. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. If you want to choke jerk, you just got to get yourself a strong belt. Yeah, better be made out of leather. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try one. <laughs> if you want to blow, you're sticky low. You got to find a low doorknob and get a belt around your neck now. <laughs> we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Big Jerkerson has convinced me that a lot of these celebrity quote unquote suicides are actually auto erotic asphyxiation gone awry. I want to disclaim that, uh, by the way, that the, the website that we're saying is, is backing me up is the Roman Catholic imperialist. So, I mean, like, you it's know, a blog spot. Whatever, whatever that's worth. I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm not the only person. Think, and it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, back on the show, one of the original members, the, uh, one of the members of the original lineup of the Bonfire, Murkface Andy, hanging hey, out. Hey, gang. Woo. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Hi, Black Lou's giving you the evil eye. Yeah. Don't worry, Black Lou. We'll get his ass Black out. Black Lou, yeah, you're still our. Don't worry. We're no still all in this together. Look, he, yeah, it's my pal. Welcome back. Um, you were saying on the break. Yeah. That, uh, in between my uh, junior year and soft and senior year of college, I was uh, living down at uh, outside Villanova, my off-campus house in the summertime, and I was uh, with my buddy, and he got a call in the middle of the night uh, about his younger brother who had passed away, and the next day we found out that he, quote unquote, hanged himself. But it was revealed later on. No, it was on a pull-up bar with uh, a dog leash. Dude, it's hardcore. Yeah. He and he a, was found. He goes, hey, Mom, I'm just going to go walk the dog. <laughs> and, yeah, a, his their younger brother. <laughs> she goes, what? He goes, why'd you laugh like that? He goes, what? And he said, I'm going to walk the dog. <laughs> I'm going to do some pull-ups with the dog. <laughs> yeah, don't come down if you hear me moaning. This is me, uh, this is me getting in shape. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah I guess I just forgot to bring the dog with me <laughs> Oh the dog's in the backyard? I didn't notice Wait real quick Go back a couple of pages here You had uh, the uh, the crime scene Or you know the crime scenes The uh, the suicide scenes well, Yeah that's this was Cornell's suicide scene They released pictures So that's the yeah, well, Let me see 
He did it with one of those, like the exercise. I'm telling you, dude, this is all choke jerk. That's like a try. He travels with it. Yeah. So he travels with the choke jerk belt. Mm-hmm. Oh no, he actually uses that thing where you step on a piece of rubber and give yourself and do fucking. Dude, his body was. Dope. He does 1920s workouts. <laughs> dude, he does. He does. I think he does. I yeah, mean, he does. Yeah, he does. And he has a DVD uh, that he watches while Raquel Welch does the same exercise goes, for him. She goes four, three, <laughs> two. Get your leg up. Good job. Oh yeah. He. Uh, sorry, you know his last two phone calls were Jillian Michaels and Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers. Uh, We're no. working out. Definite, Welcome to Choke Jerk the Way to Way. Definite choke uh, tug. So he did it with, your friend's brother did it with a pull-up bar and a dog leash? Yeah. And it later came out that it definitely was. Yeah. Was he buck naked? Well, that's the, his, the younger brother, the, the, the least youngest kid Sucked found him. him. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know I don't about know. that. That seems but, uh. After a post-mortem suck-off? It was one of those things like even. Oh, like, I'm getting horny. Good job. It's gonna get dark, but like at the like the mom like kind of give like a eulogy. Like she was like, just please, like you know. However, don't let mistakes like this happen. Please, whatever you do, be careful. Like it was like, like under the guise of like goes, what we all I, realized he was choke jerking and say, fucked up. What can I say about my son Jonathan? He loved to come. I wish two boys. <laughs> he loved to come. I wish two young men would invent something, perhaps that maybe a. Or maybe a voice-activated release system or, or a something. A breakaway. A breakaway, just something that when it feels your body weight knows to release. I don't understand certain things, like masturbating while being choked or <laughs> snowboarding out of a helicopter. It just It's so dangerous and impractical. But if you're going to do it, be safe. Choke jerking is the flying squirrel suit yeah. of masturbation. <laughs> Choose, yeah, it's cool. Suit. It's cool to glide along the side of a mountain. But you can also smash into that mountain, and then you're covered in cum and death. <laughs> you're covered in cum and hedge. At least, at least those flying freaks have a little honor when they're <laughs> scooping their brains up with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> I had to cut Michael down with a damn butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's, I mean, it's, it's, uh. Keep going down. Is there more, uh. Jay, Jay really has convinced me that this is, like, oh, I think he's convinced us all. He played a song, got himself all horned up. He goes, I'm gonna go choke jerk. I'm gonna have it. I'm on a choke jerk. I mean. I'm <sighs> gonna smack it while I bomb those pants out. It, can you get us, uh, we talked about it before the break, but a how-to or exactly a step-by-step process of what choke jerking is. Is it that you pass out? Yes, absolutely. But it's also... So passing out is absolutely part of it. Oh, no, no, you're not supposed to pass out. They are just passing out. But even they would be like, these fucking dramatic queefs, like, they're artists. They wouldn't... There'd be so if there was a suicide here, a real letter. suicide. There'd be a something, a letter. Uh, the guitar wouldn't be just sort of strewn like you just drop, put it down for a second to go do a quick choke jerk and come back yeah. and play. I bet he's like, I'm go the guitar it. would be like you know he would do something God with it. Like damn tough. it, your theory is correct. Ah. He's just, yeah, nothing's there. Like there's nothing. Somebody's got, they would say something to their kids. They have a lot of kids. Both. Yeah, they wouldn't just fuck off and not say anything. Something. Somebody said there was a suicide note from someone after the fact to cover up. Yeah, I thought Cornell left a suicide note. Did he? I, I, I don't yeah. remember, but I thought it was. Whatever you guys think, just know that I wasn't choke jerking, that's for sure. This was real, real dark sadness. <laughs> he goes, I. You just write a suicide <laughs> note every time you choke jerk. What are you looking at? I was really suicide. Like, All right, I'm going to go choke. I'm going to choke jerk tonight, I think. Better start get working on that note. Goes, uh, goes, I like feel this. hopeless goes, and desperate. He goes, what's been bugging me? What's been bugging me? <laughs> work, work. Diane's been rude. Uh, or he just has it in his pocket where he goes, all right, I got my uh, I got my rubber band workout band. I got my lube. And where is that suicide note? Yeah, it'd be funny if he wrote it like a long time ago and always carries the same one around and says things where it's like, uh, he goes, I couldn't. George I, I can't, Bush has us in I was going to say, it's like, I can't deal with the, I can't deal with the horrible finale, series finale of Dexter. Like, yeah. that, that was fucking six years ago. I'm sorry, but this housing collapse has ruined us all. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's all like, I will not live in a world where the president is a black man. Oh, you know, well, it stopped in 2016. <laughs> yeah, so no man. cum stains it. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> but still, you can see like if someone dropped. It was like, what uh, if I told you I had a mint 
David Carradine's suicide letter in the actual laminate. Mint condition. Mint condition. I mean, this thing has no cum on it. The resale on this thing? I, God only knows. I How good know. of a sales This target? was one of the sandals from Kung Fu? Probably 10 Gs. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I mean, like, I, listen, at first, at first I was sort of myself even being like, it, it, looks, it, it looks a little fishy, but it, it's fun and, and funny. Uh, in the very dark, sad thing that's happening here, people are dying. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, numb to that. But the more I thought about it as I'm watching, I'm like, I, like, I think that's exactly what's happening here. And by the way, I couldn't care less. I, I almost want to try it and see what the big to do is. I don't think you want to do it because it's like trying heroin. I think if you try it and it's I've been great. Choked, I've been choked. Christine's like choked me a little, but nothing like ever like. Where you think it's going to end? No, though? not even. I mean, sort of. you said that he could control the weight of the belt, so he's probably like, that's good. That's better. Oh my god. <laughs> he goes, he goes, Good. Um, I guess there we go. There it is. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh. You know what? I'm going to take my time. We just want to really go over a script for a while. <laughs> uh, I think I'm about to. I'm going to edge. I'm going to edge. <laughs> I'm not finding instructions. Well, find them. I did find a video. This says guy hangs himself from doorknob, passes out, and dies. Perfect. Oh, it's actually yes. a video oh, no. of him dying. Yes. Oh, I'm good with that. You don't want to see this. I don't want to see it. Bad. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. Oh, I did. Can I can I watch and describe it to you guys? Yeah, sure. Okay, put it on. I'll, I'll watch. Look, it. I'm gonna look over the uh, the Hudson. Okay. All yeah. right. This guy <laughs> is built. Oh. This guy's dick is Wait, really. Wait, this guy. I can't see the belt. The guy dies. That's what it says. Hang on. Deathaddict.com. Uh, I don't like how he has my body almost exactly. So he's really is choke jerking. Your dick's I bigger than that, though, right? I, I mean, because he's see. he's only got two fingers on his dick, That's and you true. can't see the top of it. Say this: his it legs looks are like he's jerking a soft dick. <laughs> but his, his legs Maybe. are kicking around. Oh, all right. Ah! Yeah, no. Wait. Uh, and when he made the decision? Look at his dork, though. It wasn't as bad as I thought. He's just got big hands, I guess. Let's see. Hang on. Boner still, still boner. Really reacting, by the way, the boner. He's dead. Did he pop? No, he's not dead. Oh wait, and now look. I if you don't yeah. think it's funny, yeah. come on, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, you get what you, we get the ass for, man. You choke, jerk, you might die. But, dude, his dick, like, back up a little bit, Christine, please. Dude, this is so great. Dude, his dick at the end of that, just, you watch it, he's like, dead, his dick just goes like, Dude, it really is. It's like, it's like in the WWE. It's like an old WWF where they'd choke him out and their arm would go down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, after watching, even seeing this video, mm-hmm. I think you're right. That's the only choke jerk. I mean, video? I really think your your theory is right. Like, I didn't want to think that, but it really, I think it's right. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, all these people that are hanging themselves on doorknobs, doorknobs, disco- discovered in their underwear, workout bands. I gave, ex- by the way, I gave passes to a few people, Aaron Hernandez. And uh, Ariel, whatever the guy's name was, the guy who had the three girls in Cleveland. Yeah. I, I think those guys killed themselves. You can't kill yourself any other way in jail. Yeah. I mean, head but a wall. I mean, like, you can't. There's no way you could do that to death. Like, you know what I mean? So I think hanging yourself is the only way to do it. And I believe it. And I promise you those guys are hanging from something where their feet are hanging. Yeah. You can't make those marks without pods of traction. Like, they're swinging. I think, it, and, I, and I know human beings don't have survival instinct, really. Uh, very much, but like, uh, or else you couldn't kill yourself at all. But I mean, like, it, it, all of that will be a uh, fucking. Around 500 people die each year playing with asphyxiation. This happens because while people believe they can be careful and remain in control, the mechanics of what happens when pressure is applied to the neck can cause them to lose consciousness suddenly and unexpectedly. I mean, we're blowing them. There are two primary dangers. The first and most dangerous occurs when pressure is placed on the neck, impeding the flow of blood out of the head. The carotid arteries. Go back, go oh, back, wow. They're go going in deep on go this. Back. Carotid arteries. Carotid arteries are located slightly deeper than the jug- jungular Jugular or jungular? It's jugular. It's jugular. That's misspelled. Jugular veins, making the veins more susceptible to pressure. This causes pressure to build up in the head. When pressure on the neck is released, the sudden flow of blood out of the head creates a siphon effect, dropping blood pressure in the head and causing instantaneous loss of consciousness. If the rope around the neck is tied off when this happens, death is likely the result. So we need to make our breakaway rope not able to tie off. Yeah. I mean, we're starting the science of this. We're going to make millions of dollars. 
I believe this is going to be the thing that's going to make us. We're going to retire on this. I can't wait to have a yeah, gold like boat. Somebody invent a breakaway choke jerk boat. Hey, why do you mean so, you, stop saying somebody? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Patent pending. Patent pending. Yeah. I just don't know how you can do it once you're unconscious. Copyright bonfire breakaway joke jerk belt. Uh, What are we going to call it? We get to name it. Move forward on this video here. What should we call it? Um, Choke away? No. Because get it? Choke is like a double entendre. Okay, so this is a a sudden consciousness syndrome. Okay. The following incident occurred during filming for an asphyxiated themed website. So let's see. There's a girl. Oh, girl choke joke? Choke joke? This isn't a choke joke. This is a... This is just asphyxiation. She lives, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there's another person. I mean, I don't think... He's in a kiss yeah, it's Gene, Ma- Gene Simmons. Yeah, it's, it's the demon. <laughs> oh, she's unconscious. Look at her eyes roll. Oh, oh my God. She's all right. He's all, hey, Pam. She's alive. Hey, Pam. Yep. She goes, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, that's it. You pass out. But if you pass out and you're still, and no one's there to release you, you're fucked. What's she saying? Is that music on the video? Oh, it just got real. Back it up because she just got real. She was like, I just choked. And he goes, are you doing okay now? I'm really dizzy. Sorry. Their lovemaking must be beautiful. Oh, yeah. You're oh, right. Absolutely. I think you're right about that, Jacob. Oh, yeah, she's not in a good way. But, yeah, if he wasn't there to kind of, like, release that thing, oh, she would have she'd die. Let's watch this again in greater detail. Fuck no. The director intended yeah. to raise the actress to a level she could comfortably handle, but she was raised mm-hmm. a little too high, putting pressure on. on her neck. Right. Now, if you got a handful of cock when you do this, you're dealing with more <laughs> than you can handle. You go, who's trying to make this official video? Whoa. He goes, if you got your pud in your paw... Don't do this. I'm John Walsh, and this is Choke Jerk to Death. A lot of people don't know, I lost my second son to a choke jerk. <laughs> <laughs> John Walsh, haven't you been through enough? How have you been through He enough? couldn't deal with his brother's, his brother's <laughs> kidnapping, <laughs> and therefore became a choke jerk addict. I'm John Walsh. We're going around the country <laughs> trying to find people who have died from choke jerking. <laughs> Yeah, he's not, uh, I don't know if I'm a terrible parent or if I said bad luck. Go ahead, let's, let's see what the... Uh, and she completely lost consciousness and her eyes rolled back in her head. True that. The director quickly recognized what had happened and lifted her to take all the pressure off her neck. This restored blood flow and she quickly regained consciousness. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, you're yeah, not this okay. crazy. <laughs> Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. Oh fuck, I got really dizzy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. She doesn't even know what happened. Yeah. This is what often happens to people who play with nooses. And if the loose end of the rope is tied off to anything when it happens, and there is no one present to save them, the most likely result is death. It Therefore, doesn't happen this way every time, but it only needs to happen once. We should, they should hire spotters. Jay Okerson, jerk joke detective. Here we go. Happened in the infamous video of the Syrian girl who hanged herself on camera. Jeez, I don't want to watch. She this. was experimenting with asphyxiation by news. All right, you guys look away anyway. You guys look away anyway. She first tried <laughs> gently lowering <laughs> herself, but that didn't get the effect she Can was get looking the zipper for. Down? So she gradually became more ambitious. Finally, she allowed uh-huh. herself to drop. She was using a slip knot and it cinched tight, completely shutting off blood flow to the head. Instantly, her hands curl. This is caused by hypoxia cramps, the same as you see in a heat stroke victim. By stopping blood flow through the neck, she had effectively shut down blood flow throughout her body. Blood has to be flowing through the capillaries and all the pressure in order for oxygen transfer to take place. When the flow is stopped, the effects of hypoxia are instantaneous. What happened? Did I come? The girl can be seen trying to come back to her feet. Right in the color. What happened? Did I come? Did I hit Jacob? Cramps. Did I get it on Jacob? I was aiming for Jacob. Yeah, good boy. While this girl's death is tragic. Oh, she died. Um, yeah. Why is this rock your world so much? It's completely the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. Some video of a girl dying. It's, it's a video of a girl killing herself stupidly. Oh, this wasn't to jerk. No. That was just to kill herself. Yeah. 
said she was just playing around with asphyxiation. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, what, man, that what, makes a way to, what a fucked up way to spin your friend's suicide where you go, he's just playing with eating bullets. He's just playing around with it. <laughs> no, but that's, I think she's right about it. I think she was, it was, because look, she can stand the entire yeah. time. It was to joke, it was to fucking see how to pass out and she ended up did pass the out. pass out game, which we've talked about. Oh, well, that was something they said that there's tons of deaths, like, uh, I forget what article I was looking up, but kids that play the choke game, and a lot of deaths take place in that, too. I don't know what this obsession with passing out is. Because uh, you come back, it's like waking up from a deep nap, you go, no! <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> yeah, no, we should also, yeah, that's not something you fuck around with at home. It's not a good idea to just fucking see if you could choke yourself to the yes. limit. Push it to the limit. Police can't even say how many lives choking game is claimed. When's this from? 2016, September. Uh, it's a New York Post. It says, search, a, search how to play choking game online, and you might get a clue to the root of deadly tragedy among kids. Thousands of videos and tutorials crop up showing the risky phenomenon in which kids force themselves to pass out, either by their own means or by having a friend choke them, which is something I did in middle school. It was very dumb. In order to experience the supposed euphoria of well-breathing again, it's not new to the Internet or the playground, but it makes headlines again after an 11-year-old boy in South Carolina died last week after allegedly playing the game in his bedroom. Choke jerk. He's game. 11. Game? Oh, 11? Oh, this is your best choke jerk years. <laughs> That's young. That's rookie season. Yeah. If kids are doing it, it makes sense that adults are doing it with the addition of masturbation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? How do you adult up this just pass out game? Yeah, you always put sex on any fun That's game. That's a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> jerk or... What childhood? <laughs> <laughs> but that's, uh... I mean... I'm more curious on how you get to choke jerking. Like, how do you... Someone tells you. Does someone tell you? I think if someone telling you, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. The sell on that has to be like, dude, you like to come, right? You love busting nuts? Well, dude, it's got to be the shit. It's got to be so good. You no. don't want to try it, though. Because huh? yeah. then you get addicted to doing it. Dude, Who wants I, to try it? Just to see. Just to yeah. try a little bit. God Plus, you know, uh, Stu 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 will be there holding his back. If, <laughs> if Choke Jerk takes out 30% of the show, <laughs> oh, that'd be so great. No, we got spotters. We spot each other. Yeah, we watch each other. Black Lou, I'll do you. Yeah, I'll Snapchat it. <laughs> yeah. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, if you want to watch all of us experiment with Choke Jerk. And we all lean against the doorknobs, and then we all... Yeah, Vecchio takes over for I me. I like we're all hanging off of one doorknob, like when, when like one dog walker's walking yeah. five dogs. <laughs> Well, we're just bumping shoulders. <laughs> All just half dying. Together. What? I really made everybody come around. I mean, dude, it's a theory that I thought was stupid at first and funny, and like fun to play around with on the show. But now I'm like, it just makes a lot of logical sense that these celebrities are killing them, not killing themselves, but falling. But have we convinced the, the room? Lou was convinced. Jacob, you're convinced? Totally. I was, I was convinced mm -hmm. a while ago. Yeah. Black Lou? I gotta be honest. I was skeptical up until you guys went to Montreal and you spoke about it in Montreal. Yeah. And now I'm all on board. Yeah, hundred percent on board now. I mean, let's see. You know what? Put out at on Twitter at the Bonfire SXM a poll for the campers. Do you believe Jay's choke jerk theory? Because yeah. I think it's true, and I'll vote yes on that. And I think you'd be surprised to find an overwhelming amount of people believe in it. And now, yeah, by now. I think I've turned the world at this point. I mean, I think you're a genius. I think you're a trendsetter and a genius. Can you also look up, Christine, that the effect of choke jerk also like like rivals the feeling of heroin? Yeah, opiates. Yeah, because they said a lot of like former opiate addicts do it. And so that might be... And which explains why rock stars are hitting it so hard. Yeah, because they're like done... I mean, who's... If we do a choke jerk pool, Anthony Kiedis, is he our biggest? Next to go. Is he the next to go in the, the choke, the choke jerker? You think he's a thrill seeker like that? I don't know. Uh, We're not going to choke jerk. <laughs> okay. no, I don't know if that. <laughs> choke jerk, what you choke get, you get to hang me from a doorknob. What you get, you get to hang me from a doorknob. Choke it away, choke it away, choke it away now. <laughs> boom, tick, 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 boom. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if one of, if. Oh. Who else would we guess would die of choke jerking? Flea. I, so, Red Hot Chili Peppers are one guess. <laughs> yeah, one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers themselves. Except the, not the drum, not Chad Smith, who looks like Will Ferrell. Who else? Who's going to be Chili? Lou? I say Lou or Stu is next. 
No way. I mean, Lou. Am I Chuck Yerk Deadpool? Lou and Stu together. Four, four rock stars. You have to go start rock stars. Yeah, or, or current rock current stars. Current rock stars. Um, Manson just keeps doing drugs. Yeah. So it won't be him. It's guys that try to kick. Uh, I mean, Scott Weiland's already dead. Yeah. Scott Weiland probably would have been my number one if he was still alive. Uh, Vetter's too balanced. Lead Eddie Vetter likes red wine and lead singer, Hawaii too much. He's not horny enough. Lead okay. singer of The Cure. Heroin. Ra, Robert Smith? Or Robert, who's the lead singer of The Cure? Oh, maybe, a guy, maybe a guy in corn. Maybe yeah, corn. you think a member of... Okay. Oh, there's some religious stuff You know which on one there? would really hurt, but he never did heroin, I don't think. Dave Grohl. It doesn't strike me. It but doesn't maybe, strike but me. maybe Taylor Hawkins. Definitely Pat Smear. Yeah. Taylor Hawkins had a, a problem with heroin, so maybe he, he'd be a good one. Oh, I, I think he's a problem with heroin, but he has a, no problem choke jerking, though. I bet yeah. that guy's got a rod. What if the fell dog went out choke jerking? That no, be... Surrounded by too much poon. True. Mm. What about Axl Rose? What if Slash did it? Oh, that'd be a Oh, Axl Rose, maybe. That's Slash. Best. Duff. Slash. You think Slash does it? Yeah, I think he's... We, I feel like Slash is more careful than that. I don't know why. I don't, yeah? I just feel like he's more careful than that. <sighs> God, who else is on this list of possible choke jerks? We need everyone to go to their house and make sure they're not choke jerking. <laughs> Tell you this, the next rock star that dies by suicide, immediately I'm going to be like, choke jerk. <laughs> because of Jay's theory, he's I'm going to be... Like he I could be at a bar... He a shotgun and, next to him and his head was blown off. Like, yeah, probably shot himself after he choke jerks. No <laughs> shame. Like, you ever came... Uh, right before you blow your brains out? That's amazing. That's amazing. But you're supposed to, but he probably fell asleep and his finger weighed down. You're not supposed to blow the right side of your brain out. You're just supposed to blow out the back of your neck, causing tissue damage. But you come so hard when you do that? Yeah. But when you, I'll tell you what, on the one in eight million chance you get it, it it's so hot. It's so weird to, to, to be like, I wanna, I wanna risk my life for, for, to jerk off. For one nut. Yeah. It must be pretty fucking powerful. My point, it must be great. <laughs> it must be so good. You should have like a Gatorade when you're done doing it. You're catching your breath. So, Christine, you're here's what I... Here's what I... Like, here's what I... Like, that post-choke jerk come down where you're just drinking a Gatorade. You're like... Oh, <laughs> 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 you go, and you start muttering shit like this, Jay. What the fuck? What the fuck? So sticky. Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. One second. Hold on. Uh, hang on. What the fuck? Hang on. Just gotta. What the fuck? <sighs> Dude, you can come in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this guy. Let me get my pants on. I'll get out of here. Oh, okay, I'll grab this rubber band. You like what you see? Uh, you like what you see here? Any, any luck on this? It just—it feels like one of those things you don't want to get into because you'll end up dying. Yeah, but here, I, Andy, I, I'm, I'm sorry, your friends. You I have an that. idea. I'm not. I bet he went. He go. He went doing what he loved. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. The we should make for the spotter thing, uh, at least a spotter's mm -hmm. uh, noose. What you can do is you can have that, th you know, the clips, you know, you clip, like, close like a book bag. Yeah. Those little black clips. Um, oh, they could just push the pressure and it'll let it out? Carabiners. Yeah. So you just push. You just Carabiners? Push. Yeah. Is that what they called? You click the sides and, it, and it'll just fall and, and they'll drop. But if you're, if you go out, if you it's go a, out. It's for a spotter. Oh. It's the perfect spot. Thing. So you yeah. Don't, so this way, if you can't carry somebody, Christine can't pick me up. Yeah, but she can if carry I me. Up, she can loose me go. And then you just hit the ground and you go. <laughs> yeah, pull out. <laughs> oh, my God, that was as good as it said. <laughs> as good as advertised. <laughs> uh, did you see that? Uh, when, did, you, did you see when that girl choked and passed out and came back? She was speaking gibberish. <laughs> so your like, first two seconds would be like, <laughs> your first two seconds would go, oh. This happened now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck that oh, so Some party with Tim. You go, you go uh, uh, ah, micro machine sucks. <laughs> oh, I came everywhere. What? <laughs> I'm some friends. One. Oh, it's all over. Yeah. Christine, did you have to cut me loose? Dude, Dude wow. your theory really is, it's, it's solid. I think that it's, uh, 
This was I think we learned a lot today. We did learn a lot today. And we've gotten to the bottom of choke jerking, so now we've solved it. We don't have to do it again. I love that we've turned everybody around. Yeah, we really have. The whole room is now. I had Christine a while back. Uh, I'll tell you this. I think I was one of the last to get on board, but I'm on board. Then I believe you. I'm sorry. Actually, the first time when I heard the suicide, my head goes to that. I don't know if it's All just right. from we like get it. You and any kind of suicide. We get it. You and no, no, no. The hanging, the hanging suicide. Like when you hear it, like Robin Williams, I thought I was like, oh, it's probably jerking off. Well, I didn't think so because I'm an innocent, sweet boy. Wait a second. Is Christine now just taking my theory and saying, no, I thought of it a little further. Back <laughs> she, than you. Did she, she just do that? She's predecessed. I'm fucking <laughs> real. Uh, she's, up, she's upstream me. Yeah. Anyways, back to Jonathan Brandis. He killed himself November 11th, 2003. He hung himself in the hallway of in Los Angeles. Uh, you, I just lost where it was. Uh, in the hallway of his Los Angeles apartment building. Body was discovered and paramedics called. Uh, he died that afternoon. Yeah. From, from the angels. Uh, he did not leave a suicide note. No. Dude, he I don't think he was going to die. I thought he was going to come. I don't think you choke jerk in the hallway, though. Why not? What if that's where the best knowledge In is? the hallway of his. Oh, I thought it was in the hallway of the building. I was like, you know. Oh, like in front of apartment 2B? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> you're like, oh my God, the guy from 2C is hanging in between 2A and 2B. Did you like your therapy session? No. I mean, the, the guy says this, quote unquote, you are internally tortured and you're living a secret life because you can't accept yourself and you lie to everybody constantly. Those sound like metal lyrics. It's not your fault. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. That Don't sounds do like... that to me. Don't fucking throw stingers at me. It's when not I'm... your fault. It's not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't do it to me. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I, I imagine that scene the whole time. It's just like, no, that's me. I'm bad will hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking bad, bad will hunting from Southie. That's how everybody knows uh, me. If it would have been he's a like, real... but what if you were good will hunting? And then that's when he has the breakdown. Yeah, and he goes, whoa! Uh, bro, what if I was I good will hunting? I fucking never thought of it like that. Maybe I could be good will hunting yeah. instead of bad Willie. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> you remove the, uh, you remove him being good at math, and uh-huh. it, no one wants to help that guy. Mm-hmm. Now, especially It's now. a shame no one could give Robin Williams that speech in that closet. Why? Well, he's choke jerking. No. You know our theory. Is, is that the theory? Jay, Jay has a very sound choke jerk theory. I like theory. that David Carradine single-handedly ruined suicide <laughs> yes. for so many people. He was the one guy that ever confirmed did that. And now anytime anyone hangs himself, Dude, it's like, is, oh, yeah, you should find a Jay, drum. Jay's upset. <laughs> Jay's, Jay's proven the point. He didn't know how point. to beat off. He goes, yeah, he, he slipped. David Carradine. Yeah. That's who did that. And now, uh, like, you, from people, NXS. There's people who can't respect... Anthony Bourdain's death because of David Carradine. Yeah, because, because of Kung Fu. Well, immediately. People like who? I don't know. Like, like you, motherfucker. Like him? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like Listen Jay? to Jay's choke jerk theory. Tell me, dude, this lot... is all choke jerk. <laughs> <laughs> See? The ghost of Jay remains. You do, you, he's fucking... Uh, he makes a good point that um, if you do die from choke jerking, it makes a lot more sense that your legacy is saved by saying it's a suicide. Mm. But now there's Maybe always... Maybe if you're Catholic. I don't know. Well, no, not even. No, because then if, like, if Robin Williams both was confirmed... Of those, both of those double whammies. Sins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, go either way. Yeah. If both... If Robin Williams was a confirmed choke jerk, mm. death changes the whole legacy. No, if you are Catholic and you get... Let's say you're judged, right? Okay. You're, and you've been choke jerking, but they can't prove it. I guess they don't know your intentions because human beings have free will. Yeah. So you're on trial trying to get into heaven. <laughs> and this is up, okay, so this is in the, uh, on, the on a different and astral you meet plane. St. Peter. Yeah, yeah you're this is St. Peter's Gates. The pearly gates. You're hey. on trial and you say, well, I'm imagining more of like a defending your life situation. Okay, I, I could completely go Albert with that. Albert Brooks. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Great movie. Now, it's up to the state to prove whether you were either <laughs> masturbating a sin yeah. or killed yourself a sin. It's a double. But if you can create Create a safe space, an ambiguous space in between the two, where it occupies neither. There's no clear offense, so you get into heaven on a technicality. Are you because trying they to have th- insufficient evidence for both crimes discreetly? Are you a choke jerk attorney? I Are am. you a choke jerk def- <laughs> defense I'm attorney? I'm just trying to get everybody into heaven. <laughs> Mullen and Mullen, we're going to get you in. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to get everybody that wants to kill <laughs> yeah. themselves into heaven. Anybody that wants to slap it around and die while doing it, <laughs> Nick Mullen will get you right in. But I mean, yeah. Choke. It could be a choke jerk. 
I still think it's it's still a possibility. You think Robin Williams was trying think, to masturbate? Okay, well, Chester Kate Bennington? Spade. Kate Spade. Well, that's a people, suicide. People are saying it about Kate Spade. No, they're not. They're saying it's choke jerk? Here, how about this? On the record right now, Kate Spade was choke jerking. I'll okay. say it. Nick I'll, Mullen for from the sake of the point. Patreon.com. For the sake of the point, I'll say it. Okay. That it was That is confirmed 100%. You're not allowed to sue me for saying it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that gets you <laughs> out of it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you have to say allegedly. You have to say allegedly. I know that. I, Christine's right. What? The, First of all, did you hear my rock solid defense of getting his people in heaven? I don't know about I think I know the law. Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I didn't know I was dealing with a heaven court lawyer, heaven lawyer, Nick Mullen. I'm going to get you. Yeah. I, well, yeah. You, all right. So you're on the record saying it's Kate Spade. I'm not on the record. Now that I've, I've thought about it, I'm not on the record. Yeah. See what but I'm sure you I guarantee you if you looked, you could find somebody saying she was she was jerking off. Yeah. And it's, I mean, and it's, it's, David, it's David Carradine's fault. It is. It, well, Had who David, was the guy from NXS? What's his name? Michael... Michael Hutchins. Michael Hutchins. Beautiful man. Hutchins. Beautiful daughter, by the way. All right. Take a look See, at her daughter. That's a weird... His daughter. That feels a real, uh, a, like, uh, mean, just to go from mm-hmm. me, like, your dad choked her to look at that piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> to look what he left behind. Well, th- that's shot. what makes her hot, is that her dad... <laughs> that her dad's into weird shit? Yeah, her dad killed himself by jacking off. He goes, does the apple fall far mm-hmm. from the tree? Does Jesus. the apple choke <laughs> yeah. close to the tree? <laughs> I would love, there should be, like, a truth campaign for choke jerking or whatever, like uh, those old weed ones where it's like, just tell your little sister you forgot to pick her up from soccer practice because you were choked jerking yourself in the closet. <laughs> just tell your boss you didn't make it to the meeting because yeah. you were auto-erotic asphyxiating yeah. in the broom closet. It's just the talking dog that's like, don't pet me with those hands. Yeah. <laughs> or instead of the melted the melted guy, he goes, that's Is my Is that friend. my leash? Yeah, my melted friend. Yeah, he's drained of cum from choke jerking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get enough of it. I would love. I would love to hear a paramedic, EMT, or a fucking coroner calling this show at some point and tell us what's the craziest shit you see when you go to collect a dead body hanging in that room. <laughs> I mean, oh my god! A, a, a re, like a real doll that only watches, like just crazy, fucking ridiculous shit. Uh, like he's never fucked it. He just, he's never fucked it. He just dresses it and makes it watch him. Oh, dude! The before the family can get in the room stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a coroner being in there, like it was a weird scene. I'm surprised this guy made it to fifty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my brother's a cop, and they he says it happens way more than often than you think like people jerking off and dying and they don't ever it's not like a statistic because it never gets reported they the don't. silent killer <laughs> <laughs> your biggest chance of dying is jerking off like you're Dude, that's, they should have told this your brother should go to schools and tell the kids that I know. It, well, it's not reported if somebody dies of like a hanging, like if they had their dicks out when it happened. Like if that, that seems so embarrassing. Like it's it's better to say it was suicide than a choke jerk. This, this also riddles something that I've uh, always thought about. Must be funny to hear from cops and things like this. Is finding somebody dead in a violent way. Uh, wearing something that's just so hilariously like not, you know, what I mean, like if a guy's wearing a shirt that's like, you know, it's a mother shirt, your mom's ass, and then you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like four bullet holes in it, like or a Bart Simpson like jumping on the skateboard, cowabunga, do or a Beavis and Butthead shirt, and you're just like, it's gonna be a funny thing to come across because when you put that shirt on. You didn't think today was the day you were going to die, man. <laughs> you got to put, put the body of a heroin overdose in sponge, SpongeBob pajama pants into I'm a fucking every day like it's my last day on this earth. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone's ever been appropriately dressed where they're like, I actually went to go get this dead body. This guy was yeah. fucking cool as shit. He was in a duster wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Do you, this by day the way, took a turn. You were clearly in a great mood when you put this this goofy Bart Simpson t shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> it this day went downhill, didn't it, buddy? Uh, this woman, this woman that, sat in a 4X Garfield shirt. It's pretty is cool. That, <laughs> is, that a, is that a Bobby a McFerrin tour t shirt? <laughs> is it are they handling this backwards like okay, you should never announce a mass shooting because that inspires people. And you should always announce dying from jerking off, because that will <laughs> It's, it's people trying to protect legacies, man. I mean, Soundgarden. It's all about legacy, dude. <laughs> Soundgarden, Soundgarden was tugging hard from a belt that day. Every one of those, dude. Have you every told one of those? Robert every Williams? celebrity dies from hanging themselves. They're all fucking jerking <laughs> off. You think it's that's a coincidence? Crazy. Huh? Yeah. You think that's a coincidence, or is that five G? I think no. I think <laughs> yeah. Well, as the five G expert on the panel, I would say it is. Kurt it is five G. Jay, your safety device. Have you told them that? Your, I, what? everyone, your safety device idea? 
for belts oh, yeah. for choke jerks? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. A belt for choke jerks. Something that's like you have to acknowledge it every thirty seconds. Somehow, just like a thumb tap or something, and if you don't acknowledge <laughs> it, it releases. I honestly I think, think you could do a weight release where it's like if a certain amount of weight if you like, and you ain't gonna get that euphoric no. orgasm, dude. Yeah, that, that, you that, need that, that, that weight. That's that the whole kills point. the point. That, that kills the point. About, man, what the fuck are you talking about? You need that weight. Sure. It's crazy. You know just <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's a the, yeah, the whole that's, thing. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing's yeah. the body weight. It's got to be something you acknowledge, just with a finger touch or something like that, just to say like I'm still alive. And if and when you go out, if you pass out, it releases you. I think I pitched that to Damon John from Shark Tank. He said not in his. Uh, it's not really. Something for his portfolio, personally. <laughs> but he didn't say no. But he didn't say no. He told me it was yeah, actually a good idea. He said it was a good idea. He, I think it's. I think in theory, it's a great idea. I think Thank the you. problem with you're going to have with sales is I think even guys that love jerking off with a belt around their neck are so embarrassed of it that they won't buy that product. If, you, I feel like they won't uh, market it as a completely different product. That and it's a surprise that it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a time release belt. It's just a belt with a yeah, well, <laughs> back massager trick. Yeah. Back massager <laughs> dildo trick. It's also you're dealing with a group of people who are who like risk. So you're not going to get people buying something. Uh, I, mean, I see you, what you're saying. Like are risking their lives. Wow. So be safe. Point. That's suspiciously insightful. Well, you know. <laughs> <It's not> like, <laughs> like you really know this thing. <laughs> I will never try that. <laughs> I mean, that sounds dumb, like only an insider would have direct knowledge of. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, well, you might be right about that. That might, that might actually affect the sales. But I was going to say, any celebrity could have somebody else get it for them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, an assistant could not ask questions or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Jay, don't you want the regular man? Don't you want the old fucking, you know, construction hat and lunch pail who comes home and wants Listen a good old-fashioned so- Carhartt fucking uh, choke yeah. jerk? But I'm saying, buddy, somebody walks into a sex shop, that same guy walks into a sex shop, if he's willing to buy a fucking rubber ass or order a real doll, <laughs> he'll get a fucking time-release belt. Yeah, you're good. No, dude. Oh. Time-release oh. belt's next level shit, dude. That ass is, that's that's old school at this point. Yeah, dude, dude that's, just, that's just rubber molding. Yeah. That's peanut brittle. I, I, that that fake pussy <laughs> is peanut brittle, you know, I, I, dude? I've got a patent pending, and uh, I'll tell you, it's an untapped market. We have no competition. <laughs> you know what's funny though is if you know, you know what's funny is if there's like if the time release has a beep so like you hear it where it's like beep and then the belt gets let go and you just hear that beep a bunch in your roommate's room and you're like are you <laughs> fucking choke triggering in there he's like no yeah, what you got- it alerts you it alerts your roommates <laughs> to come get you help me help me I am covered <laughs> in cum I am covered Thomas. in cum <laughs> Thomas Thomas wake up dude. Thomas, Dude, you gotta see the stars every time, bro. Come on, Dude, man. Walking up to finding the body of someone who died for autoerotic asphyxiation is got to be a weird, like, where to touch them because there's cum on them because they definitely busted Not before this. they died. You you would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day, oh my yeah. god, dude! Do you watch uh, uh, that fucking what we do in the shadows? The show? I don't watch the show, but I've seen the movie. Yeah. No, the show it isn't one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I think that the vampires, they find their, their ghosts because they're technically dead. So they have ghosts of themselves. Yeah. And the one dude's fucking ghost, he couldn't, his unfinished business was like he was about to come when he died. <laughs> they had to jerk him off <laughs> to get him to the next life. <laughs> Jay, you have a very good invention there, but I have a better one. If you tie a string to your nutsack, so you can't go so low, this will stop you from uh, choking. Thank <laughs> 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 you, Governor Cuomo. Uh, can I ask if, uh, if does, Pete, does Pete Davidson think choke jerking is cool? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. 